hey guys welcome to this new video guys so on my stream i've been asked um that why haven't i done the uh, red card guys so this is the comeback of the red card guys uh so when i'm stream uh, you guys have been asking me uh why i haven't done the uh, the red card for the first um first actually week weekend uh of the league mx weekday games i think they call it in english um of game days actually i think that's how they call it so this is uh week two so this jornada dos en español uh so we're gonna bring you guys to you uh all the results of the games uh, and i will comment in on the first one uh the first game guys was the tijuana versus necaxa uh it was a pretty nice game only one goal and tijuana took the victory uh 1-0 uh, against Necaxa and then guys on uh, the next game on Friday actually the same day as the Tijuana game was Morelia versus Puebla where Morelia picked up the win with the goal of R uh, Rui Diaz uh, so very nice goal guys and then guys and this match was very important guys for the relegation and Querétaro picked up the win 2-0 guys um, so uh, it looks like Lobos Buap is in a very, very bad situation. I uh, hope I said that right. Because, uh, like, they're the, the club that just got promoted. So, they keep losing. They actually draw more more points on the relegation. So, they actually need to win to stay in Liga MX. Uh, so, right now, if Lobos Buap keeps losing, most likely, they're going to be going to second division. So guys, our next game was going to be the America versus Pachuca. Uh, Uribe Peralta did miss a penalty in the first minutes. Uh, the game ended up in a 2-2 draw. And it was a pretty nice um, pretty nice game. Uh, looks like uh, Guzman is being a very important player for Pachuca. Can't believe Chivas let him go. I think we need a very good center defensive mid in Chivas. And we, we just let go Guzman like nothing. A very bad decision by Chivas in my opinion. But the game ended up in a 2-2 draw guys. Pachuca versus America. And then guys we had the Tigres versus Santos. Where Guignac actually scored a one goal. And they actually won the game 2-1. And Tigres took the three points. And then guys we had the Leon versus Toluca. Where Leon picked up the win 3-1. And then, guys, on Saturday night, we also had the Chivas versus Cruz Azul. Now, it's a very interesting thing I have to say about this game. It's because I only watch uh, around 30 minutes and then I had to leave uh, to my part-time job. I did watch the first goal of Chivas and then I left where they were actually winning 1-0. And then I've been watching uh, a lot of the shows on TV like Fox Sports. And they were saying that Chivas kind of got robbed by the referee. And then I saw an interview with Almeida where Almeida said that the referee told him that he did screw up. So I don't know. It was a bad loss for Chivas. But a very good win for Cruz Azul. And Cruz Azul won 3-1. Uh, so I don't know how you guys think about the game. Did Chivas really got robbed by the ref? I don't know. They, they probably, if the referee did make a mistake, they're pro he's probably going to be suspended for a couple of games. That's what happens on Liga MX. And then, guys, on Sunday, we had the Pumas versus Atlas, guys. And what a player Castillo is. I hope he doesn't get injured again playing for um, Pumas because last season he did got injured and Pumas didn't do that well. So I think at this rate, we could see a uh, team of the season Castillo and also Alustiza man what a duo this is Alustiza and Castillo they've been playing amazing these two games so Castillo could also get an inform but since he already got an inform this um this Wednesday the past uh, I don't think he's gonna be getting this Wednesday another inform because he scored again two goals and gave one assist so it would be awesome if the EA could give him another inform, but I doubt it that's going to happen. So guys, let's go into the final game. And that was the game between Veracruz and Monterrey. And this game was very important for Veracruz because they're also on that relegation zone. And a lot of the people on, on, on Fox Sports, Univision, thinks that Veracruz is the team that's, that's probably going to be relegated 
uh, they did lost uh, 2-0 against Monterrey. Uh, so pretty interesting guys so guys now let's go into the table so i'm gonna tell you the first eight teams uh and then i will tell you where chivas is so first place um the first team is no other than pumas with six points leon with six points also cruz azul with four points monterrey on uh, number four with four points american fifth fifth place with four points morelia on sixth place with four points tijuana uh, also on seven and seven with four points uh, Santos and eight with three points and Chivas guys is on 14 on the 14th spot with one point I know that a lot of you guys are Chivas fans and probably want to know so guys uh, the next the next games are gonna be match day three that's how they call it so um, we're probably gonna have some interesting games one of the ones that I could dig right now it's the America versus Pumas on Sunday. That's going to be a very good, a very good game because Pumas is just starting an amazing season. Oh, the, they started this season very good. So they could have one of the best forwards and we'll see. Um, one thing I will tell you guys, the the signings or the, yeah, the signings, the America, they're, they're not going to be playing until the fifth or fourth uh, match day. So they're probably not gonna play on the on the Pumas game on the Clasico. So just so for you guys to know. Okay, so on Friday, guys, the 19, we have Puebla versus Veracruz. Um, also on that Friday, we have Atlas versus Toluca. On Saturday, Cruz Azul versus Leon. Querétaro versus Tigres. Monterrey versus Tijuana. Pachuca versus Lobos Wap. Necaxa versus Guadalajara on Necaxa Stadium. Uh, so it will be interesting to see. Uh, um, Chivas is probably going to play with the um, alternative kit. Pro I think it's going to be the green kit most likely. And then on Sunday, guys, in the morning, like it's going to be like at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Pumas versus America. And then the final game of uh, match day three, it's going to be Santos versus Morelia, guys. So guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this red card and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.